know it's been like 50 million years and I am so sorry for that but again living life enjoying life you know I had a lot of stuff going on Godric is going to be a part of the video um Yes, that's how he rolls around on his carpet. And no, he has not worked hard today, so don't let him lie to you. Um, the stats, I have lost 84 pounds from my highest weight, which was in January. And I've lost 48 pounds since surgery, which is July 10th, uh, so right at three months. I have some photos that I'll be shooting at the end of this video for you guys to see. The first one will be from... Uh, the tenth of this month, from my highest to current, and then there was one where one of my awesome novelty tees. I was wearing it this past weekend, and I probably won't be wearing it again. And I was like, oh, you know, I know I had a photo with it a while back, so I took another photo and a comparison on that one, uh, which was funny. What I like about that one is that in the first one you can't see the floor, but in the second one you can see the floor in the background, which I thought was hilarious. Um, they were both taken with a selfie stick, so I tried to like recreate them the same but who knows but I still thought it was cool um struggles triumphs uh working out is getting a lot better um doing a lot more than I usually do um doing weights and planks and stair steps I'm able to go up the stairs using both legs now which was never a thing for like the past three or four years I haven't been able to do that um so that's going good um Weight loss is pretty steady, about 12 pounds a month, which is pretty good. I um, do have one uh, concern, though, and I don't know if it's just because I'm not eating as many calories. Right now, I usually average about five to 600 on a um, non-workout day and about 900 on a workout day. I notice I'm very, very hungry, which is why Dr. Vaughn says to make sure that your mind is right before you start working out because you're going to want to eat more. Um, I definitely understand that now, and sometimes I'm wondering if, you know, it, whatever that saying is about the means and the measure and all that stuff. I don't remember what it is right now. The ends measure the means and the means. Anyway, so... <laughs> So I have noticed that there was a couple weeks there where I was plateauing and I was going really hard on the workouts. I was working out like three times at least a week, if not more, about every other day. And I was burning anywhere from 500 to 700 calories at a, at a workout. And I really wasn't moving on the scale. There wasn't a womanly issue. There wasn't a reason like that I know of as to why the scale wouldn't be moving. And so I'm like, okay, well, maybe my body is just like, this is too much and I need to hold on to everything. Stopped working out for a week, lost five pounds. So it could be the swoosh syndrome that I see the articles going around about. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much bank or stock I put into that one, but that was my experience. So took off last week, started working again this week. Um, stalling this week, but I know I'm stalling this week. So that's a good thing. One of the hard things has been <clears throat> letting go of my t-shirts. I love novelty t-shirts. Like, it's my thing. I'm currently wearing one that says, I told you I was trouble. And I am. So, and this one is like two sizes too big for me. No. So, I've been struggling because I can find jeans in my size now. Obviously easier, like at Goodwill. And we have a place here called Plato's Closet, which is secondhand clothes. My struggle is, even if I find cheap jeans... I still have to pay $16 to get them altered. I have to go to the, to the tailor. I have to put on the jeans. I have to have a measure them. It's just a whole crap show. And I love jeans. Like, I, I'm, I'm cool with jean shorts, but I prefer jeans, especially when I'm going out. It's just my thing. It's just my style. And it's been a pain in the ass. I have one pair of jeans that I actually really like, a second pair of jeans that I can deal with that were skinny leg jeans when I bought them now they're bagging the legs I don't know what the hell you should call them now then I got on these things that feel like mom jeans but it's laundry day so whatever um so that's been a struggle I've been donating to women who are in transition like they're trying to get their life back on track and I feel happy with doing that because apparently finding plus size clothes is really hard for them um another struggle my boobs are going away like drastically and that's kind of tough my mom's always been small chested and I assumed I would be small chested too if I was small but yeah they're like going bye bye and I don't like it <laughs> I 
I mean, I'll pay for some, but still, it's just the principle, though. Um, that's a struggle. <clears throat> Overall, I have more energy. Uh, I have had some hormonal imbalances. That is real talk, people, when they tell you that. When they say that you will have hormonal mood swings as you lose weight, it's true. I will go one day from being weepy all day to being bat shit angry the next day to being completely happy and normal and hyper the following day. It's it's been crazy. I've been okay this week, but there's been some times where I've lost it. Um I'm going to all my group meetings, going to behavioral therapy, I'm going to nutrition classes and I'm going to peer-to-peer -peer support, which I feel like are very important. Uh I've talked to people on forums about it and they didn't really seem like they uh thought it'd be beneficial. I don't know what's up with that. They think they got it under control. The instructions seem simple. So good luck with that. Um, the instructions are simple, you know, as far as in what you need to eat and how you need to live your life. But it doesn't it doesn't cover everything else that you're going to be going through. The, the mind games that you're going to play with yourself and the emotional shit. So good luck with that. <laughs> you know, group is always here if you need it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um... I don't think there's much else that's been going on. It's fall in Jacksonville, which is like totes rare. And um, I'm going to take advantage. And by fall, I mean it was 66 this morning and it was like high of 73. That's fall for us. But like, I guarantee you there's somebody outside right now in the bubble jacket. I guarantee you. Um, so I'm going to take advantage of that and I'm going to cook me a fall dinner which is a butternut squash turkey casserole thing. I will link that in the bottom if you want to check it out. Also, I have um, tried to get more vocal on Instagram. So if you want to follow me there, you're more than welcome to. If I think you're interesting, I'll follow you back. Uh, that's typically how it goes, and that's pretty much all I expect from you. If you find me interesting, follow me back. If not, hey, I totally get it. Weight loss people, especially on Instagram and YouTube, come like a true trillion a dime and I totally get that you know we're all kind of sharing the same story but I do think the community is great and I do think that we can always learn from each other so I will uh, link that info down there uh, Twitter I am on there hit or miss usually if I've been drinking and I'm at the club you'll see more tweets because I use Twitter more as a venting outlet than anything else so you're more than welcome to follow that I ain't gonna make no promises about it I'm going to throw some pictures on the end. Um, I think that's all. New subscribers, thank you for following. You were the inspiration for me to make a video because I needed to make a video for like weeks now and I haven't done it. And I've been saying I need to do it. And I'm like, what am I going to talk about? So this was what I talked about. And you're the reason why. So thank you. And I will definitely update you guys soon. There are other vlogs that I want to make specifically for this, but I just haven't put the thought in motion, made a game plan. But as soon as I do, you'll get it. I hope you guys stay great, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.